Hello folks, I'm Odinspac33 and welcome to a new playthrough from me. And it's Fire Emblem, but not your typical Fire Emblem. No, 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 Fire Emblem 7, I guess I should say that. But this is the... <laughs> this is the Ubin's edition of Fire Emblem and it's also a randomizer. What does all of this mean? Well, if you've ever played Fire Emblem 7, you're not actually going to know what's going on. There's two conditions uh, in this playthrough Let's Play. Uh, the first being that I've replaced some of the characters with some of the villains of the game. Not many, just like the lords and one other character, which I realized I didn't have to do. And secondly, it's a randomizer. I found this program. I'm going to link you guys in the description. I can't link you any ROMs, of course, because, you know, I'll get in trouble or something. But uh, I'll link you to the program in the description. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to actually change all of the classes of each character to a completely random class so you can get some really cool things it'll, it'll definitely make you change your game uh, entirely how you play uh, but the really cool thing about it is that you you'll get like random weapons and stuff too and you can get some stuff that you shouldn't really be getting uh, like you can get uh, ballistas in your uh, inventory which you're not supposed to have or ballistas but uh, so yeah it's it's gonna be an interesting playthrough. I've only played the first like I didn't play through the entirety of it I just went through the first chapter just to see if this would be possible uh, Which it definitely is going to be uh, at least for the first part of the game is for sure gonna be possible considering the units I got but uh, All the bosses are random too as well as the characters uh, Stat gross are randomized their constitution a little bit is randomized. It's it's gonna be interesting so, and this is also going to be a storyless playthrough. Uh, there's no real point in me uh, entering this, but I guess I will just for the sake of it. Uh, I'll just name myself Spack. But uh, how these are going to work is this is going to be like 20 minutes each each uh, day or each uh, video. It'll be 20 minutes of Fire Emblem. Like I guess I said no story. I'm going to skip it. It's not going to make much sense anyway with uh, some of the characters I got. Uh, it's more so just to show off the gameplay anyway. And if I go through the story, it makes these videos way too long. If I crank out 20 minutes of video, we can actually get, actually get through the game. So, I'm born in July. I'm born. Give me that fire thing. All right, Fire Emblem, Ubin's Edition, Randomizer. All right, we'll, we'll go through the chapters though. Okay, so prologue. This is the prologue chapter, but that's it. You're not gonna see any of this other stuff. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna be introduced to our <laughs> our main lord of these first few chapters, which is Glass the Myrmidon. He's not supposed to be a Myrmidon, and it's obviously not supposed to be Glass. You're supposed to be Lin here. Um, but I, like I said, I changed some of the characters. Like I said, the main lords. I'm actually glad that I got a Myrmidon. I did this a couple times, this is a randomizer. But actually, this one is actually the least amount of research. This is the only bit of information I know about this randomizer is the map you're looking at. I don't know what anything else looks like, so we, we could be in for a real treat here uh, the next chapter. I don't know what we're gonna get, but it's really cool. So we got the boss here, Bada the Beast. He's supposed to be a brigand, but he's a fighter. Really not much different than what he normally is, uh, so it's not a big deal. Uh, we got really lucky though on our, uh, our glass here. He has no defense basically and no resistance but skill and speed of nine like that's fantastic like he's basically Lin so I don't have a problem with this you're also gonna notice some real funky palettes uh, you'll see it when we go to attack but we're actually not gonna attack this guy we're gonna let him attack us because if I do I'm gonna die and one real cool thing about the randomizer is it actually removes the tutorial from the game uh, making it so it doesn't glitch out because Depending on the classes, it makes you do, do some certain things, and if you can't do those things, then it acts kind of weird. So um, you don't, you're not uh, forced to do actions. But yeah, look at Glass here. So we're gonna be looking at this for a little bit. Hopefully, when he promotes his palette changes, I know uh, a bunch of my buddies are actually playing through this right now, uh, and they got some a little more desirable outcomes uh, when some of their units promoted from stuff like this. So. Let's hope that when Glass does eventually promote one day, he'll look a little better than this, like, piece of poo <laughs> with green hair. <laughs> he looks really bad, but it's whatever. Uh, hopefully he has some good growths, too, uh, because that's randomed as well, so who knows. The growths apparently can range from 0 to 255, which I think means you can get, like, 
more than two stats, like, uh, at a level. Like, you can get, like, strength plus two and stuff. Oh, wait, we're not we're skipping this. Uh, Bot of the Beast actually looks really good as a fighter, which isn't really that surprising, because he's basically just a brigand but turned into a fighter. It actually looks pretty cool. He actually kind of looks like Guile. Did he not attack? Oh, no, he attacked me. Oh, I, I can't die, so, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, but he looks like Guile. For sure, like the green like shirt there and the blonde hair there. He's he's Guile. And then you even look at the hair, like he's Guile. <laughs> Sonic boom that. But yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun for sure. Let's see what our first level looks like. Oh, beauty. Didn't get any defense though. Looks like glass is gonna be a glass cannon, isn't he? Ha ha ha, the puns. His sword play is peerless though. He still got his peerless sword play. I say that, like, you guys don't know what I'm talking about if you've never played this game. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be storyless. But this is uh, Footsteps of Fate here, and we're, we're skipping all this stuff here. Do we got another Myrmidon? Like, actually? <laughs> Ken's another Myrmidon. Whoa, his stats are so much better. Look at his, look at his speed, skill and speed. Uh, he's not that much better. The luck is terrible. What's his constitution like? Eight? got better constitution I'm probably not gonna use them just for the fact that I have to use glass <laughs> but Sane is a Hector uh, Hector is actually one of the main lords of this game uh, but uh, he's gonna be <laughs> he's gonna be Satan now and he's got some really good stats yeah so probably a definite inclusion on my team I mean we're gonna show off Kent see what he does he's probably gonna mess this guy up oh yeah for sure We'll try not to lose anyone this playthrough, of course. Ooh, I didn't realize there's a... Zugu's a knight. He's got a horse slayer. Uh, he's got 10 defense, which sounds bad. But I feel like Kassain is a is a Hector Lord. I'm just going to call him a Lord. He's, got, he's an Axe Lord. I guess that would be more appropriate. Because he's not Hector. He's an Axe Lord. Because he's that, he's going to be uh, very effective against him. So I'm gonna try to like if you guys have never played Fire Emblem, this is probably not a good start for you, honestly. But um, let's see what Kent looks like as a mermaid. See if he looks cool. No, no, he doesn't look that cool. He looks like a zombie, and he looks like he's wearing a potato sack. He's got a red sword, which is pretty cool. All right, we can get Sane in here. See what he looks like. Uh, he also looks pretty interesting. You know, some of the characters' palettes actually go really well um, with some of the classes. So hopefully we actually get some characters that look cool. Um, but apparently you haven't got to see any yet. Oh, you saw Bot of the Beast. He looked cool, right? But he was a he was a bad guy. But it was still pretty neat to see anyway. Alright. I don't really want to go in the forest. Eh, whatever. This guy can have the forest advantage. I mean, he's not going to be able to really do anything to me. But yeah, Zugu over there. He's supposed to be another brigand. Uh, like these guys. Oh, glass with the crit. Uh, beautiful. Man, I can't believe we got two Myrmidons. That's kind of sucky. But, we, I mean, we got uh, Axe Lord, so we can't complain there. So yeah, like I said, I don't know anything moving forward, like from the last chapter. I didn't know I was going to even get these guys. I figured it'd be more authentic. If I turns out I can't beat the game, then I guess the randomizer wins. Uh, but I'm going to try to get as far as I can. Yeah, this guy shouldn't be too big of a problem. And I got some really solid units to start, so I'm not complaining whatsoever. But yeah, we're not going to use Ken. Sane though, definite contender, because he's Hector. Or sorry, he's an axe lord, and they good. So I'll probably use glass some more this chapter, so I'll use this. Uh, the uh, boss characters they work well as a like all their portraits and stuff work fine. It's just their palette, you know, is a little weird. If he was actually a mercenary, the class he's supposed to be, he would look fine. I don't know what he'd look like if he got promoted to uh, his promotion. I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil what they are in case you have never played this game before. But I don't know what he would look like promoted, if he would be good or not. But he would look fine as a mercenary. But he got randomed as a Myrmidon, and I'm really not complaining with that. That's a perfect class. He's basically Lin, because uh, Lin as a sword lord. There's two of them, I guess. Female sword lord. Uh, she's basically a Myrmidon. 
Like she has the exact same kind of stats as a Myrmidon. So this is this really this is pretty much very similar to how the first bit of these go. Like the first bit of, of Fire Emblem Seven. But like I said, yeah, I can. You know, I should probably give uh, give my uh, Poison Sword here. This is an item you're not really supposed to have. I think only enemies can use these. So that's the first instance of uh, kind of like an enemy-only item or an item we're not supposed to have right there. Let's see Glass mess up this guy some more. I guess we'll have Glass kill this unit here and then we'll have Sane finish off the boss because Sane should probably be able to mess this guy up. He's got a lot of defense too, right? Eight? And this guy's... He's only got 13 attack. Axes have the weapon triangle advantage. So yeah, like, this guy's done. <laughs> but, uh, we'll have Glass kill this guy here first. Man, that, uh... I hope you guys are cool with seeing that the whole game. Because, uh, that's what, uh, he's gonna be looking like. Oh, he got some defense, I'll take that. He needs to be tanky. Some things I need to turn on. Uh, animation with backgrounds, and we need to turn up this game speed. And the text speed as well. Because it... That way they move faster here. But yeah, now we can see some backgrounds. It looks a little cooler. Zugu does not look good as a knight whatsoever. The knights, they never look really good. Unless, like, they were a knight. Which makes sense, obviously. But Sane looks pretty cool with the green axe. I like that. But yeah, he's going to finish off Zugu. And I mean, we're not even far in. We can probably, probably even finish the next chapter, too. The next chapter is not very long. Like I said, I'm going to try to go for about 20 minutes each time, so... It's supposed to be a lone girl. Yeah, Glass ain't a girl. Sorry, bud. Let's see this level up here for a scene. Well, that's a very standard Axe Lord level up there, so I'm not going to complain. Alright, like I said, skipping story. Because it doesn't matter. Well, will let these play out. I didn't realize I didn't let the last chapters one play out. This is Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits. I'm going to skip all this intro here. Alright, so... Here is where Glass is actually supposed to be the main enemy. So I've replaced Glass with Lynn To kind of... So she's still in the game. And her stats are terrible. <laughs> They're really bad. She does have a short spear, which might be troublesome. I don't think it'll be that bad. You know what's weird? When I was actually... When I started fiddling around with the randomizer... Uh... When I fought Glass here, I think he was a knight with a short spear. That's kind of funny now I'm thinking about it. But, like I said, with Sane here, it's probably going to be Cakewalk. It's uh, honestly not going to be that hard. Don't need, like I said, I don't need Kent. Let's put him over here. Now I'm going to rely on him. Like I said, there's no point in using him. It, it would be cool, I guess, to have two Myrmidons. Um, but... With all the other units I might potentially get, and the fact that I have to use glass, then I might as well just not even use them. Let's put these guys, move them up. I don't care who he goes after, this uh, brigand here. Doesn't really matter who he attacks. He's not going to be doing much to any of them. It's either he couldn't really do damage to Sane, or he would have probably missed glass because the weapon triangle advantage. Swords beat axes. But yeah, I, I'm really happy to be doing this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we get some shenanigans. I know I'm doing a lot of explaining. But I feel like once this first uh, episode gets up and it's out of the way, then I can start reacting to how... I don't know if you ever guys have ever seen me do Fire Emblem streams, but I like to be pretty hype. Uh, and I like to react to like criticals and... I don't know if everyone does. They feel in good levels up and stuff like that, and just messed up moments. So, don't worry. There's gonna be some of that, all right? Don't you worry. All right. I guess I could just keep glass in here. Yeah. In the case of emergency, break glass. Or he's gonna break you. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, they should be both be fine. The 16 damage from Sane. Because he just has so much attack. Like, you're not supposed to have an Axe Lord until, like, chapter 12. So, that's why he's so good right now. And I feel like he just got really good random stats, too. Which is probably, probably playing into it. 
goodness, how much damage does this guy do? Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't attack with uh, our main man, Glass, here. Hey, let's, let's give it to Zane. I don't want to die. That would really suck. And right now, it's, if I were to attack, technically possible, so I'm not going to give him the chance. That's fine. You're dead. Well, you're not dead. See, once Zane can double, then it's over. <laughs> It'll be so over. Because I can already tell he's going to be a great unit. Glass is going to be a great unit, too. Uh, I got some really solid starters here, which I really feel like is going to make this first part of the game super simple. Which is just lucky on my part, honestly. Because I've had play through, like, I, I, the one that I'm doing like by myself, because I actually haven't finished it, I only discovered this randomizer like a day or two ago. And I'm like, what can I do with it? And then I was like, wait, I can probably hack in units too, right? And so I just started messing with that stuff. Oh, that's a great level up too. Needs that speed and skill though. That would be good. But I can't, can't complain. So what can Sane do to Lin here? Yeah, you're, you're dead. <laughs> like you're, you're dead. <laughs> All right. The objective is to seize, right? I might as well just finish her off. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> that's glass. No, it's Lynn. <laughs> she doesn't look very good as a knight. Not at all. And she did. Pretend you didn't see glass right there just now. So that'd be good. You'll never have to see that again. You know, or see what? You saw nothing. We'll have glass take this guy out here. And then that will end the chapter, and that'll probably end the video too. Because we're we're not 20 minutes in, but uh, we've done like three chapters here, so that's probably good. Oh, beauty! Getting that crit, that unnecessary critical right now. Let's just see a good level up too, just to cap off the end of this video. That's you know what? I'll take that. No hit points, kind of sucky, but got strength and skill. You know, it's gonna be a solid unit, I can tell already. Alright. I I almost feel like we could start another thing. We got the Manny Caddy, which we won't even be able to use, I don't think. Alright, do we wanna save and, and end the video? I feel like we could maybe go for a little longer. We'll we'll try to run it right up to the twenty minute marker. We'll see what units we get here, because we're gonna get some new units here. Band of mercenaries. What we got? Oh, we got <laughs> we got a mercenary. Look, band of mercenaries. We got a mercenary. This is what um, this is what uh, glass is actually supposed to be. Man, are you kidding me? Like all the swords right now. Can glass use the Manny Caddy? No, nah, he can't. That would have been cool. All right, let's have Kent go in here. We'll get we'll get, see who our who our other unit is supposed to be here. Oh, Will. He's an axe user. He's a brigand. Oh, he's he's not bad. He's I don't know if he's is he as good? Not really, eh? He's got more hit points and a little more speed. Is he more constitution? No. He's all right, but when brigands promote, they promote to berserkers and they're actually really good. So, we might get him a chance. An emblem axe? Not really supposed to have this. This is a like a link Link cable exclusive thing, <laughs> so I got that. Man, look at look at this! Three sword users and two axe users. And you're not even supposed to have brigands, by the way, on your team. Like this is like an enemy exclusive class, so kind of cool. But I think we're gonna end it right here. So th this is a this is a spac pack, I guess. This is Fire Emblem Ubin's Edition randomized. I don't know if I'm gonna actually put all that. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think. Uh, and I will see you next time. I'm probably going to record another one because this was really fun. And I want to see what else we get. We'll see who what our what our boss is over there. Well, I'm not going to show. Uh, you have to wait till the next part to see who it is. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, take care and goodbye.